Hi, my name is Anu Buzrug. I work as a senior academic assistant at the Learning Commons of College of DuPage, mainly tutoring the accounting courses. In my last video, I explained the journal entries, how to convert a business transaction into accounting language using the golden rules of accounting. So let's move on with the accounting cycle and see how the journal entry can be moved to the next cycle of T account and then the trial balance. So let's take the same example. I had purchased material on credit and my journal entry was if you remember it was inventory debit and accounts payable credit now how do I move this to a T account so that at any particular time I know how much inventory I have and how much do I owe to a particular supplier so this is my inventory account and this is my accounts payable account. Uh, all the T accounts, left side is debit and right side is credit. So what happened last time? We had purchased 1,000 worth inventory on credit. So I had credited accounts payable and debited inventory. So suppose again I bought another $100 worth inventory from the same person. Every supplier will have a separate T account. Every inventory item will have a separate T account. And then suppose I returned something worth 50 to the person for some reason. Suppose I spent another $50 on transporting the material. Now here I'm not going to touch the accounts payable account because I paid cash. So let's assume that we already had $1,000 cash which we had bought in as common stock. That means I brought capital in the business worth $1,000, right? So at any particular time, what do I do? I just close my T account and see how much do I owe this particular supplier. So 1100 minus 50 is 1050 is what I owe him or her. Then 1150 minus 50 is uh, again 1100 is what I own as inventory and in the cash account what I have is 1000 minus 50 so 950 dollars remain in my cash account and I have common stock or capital worth 1000 dollars. So now we go to the next accounting cycle where I will be preparing a trial balance. So let's prepare the trial balance. What is a trial balance? It's nothing else but compilation of all your debit and credit accounts, all your account heads you will be writing over here. So my first inventory goes over here. I have a debit balance of 1100 then my cash goes over here. I have a debit balance of 950. Then my common stock goes over here. I have a credit balance of $1,000. Then I have accounts payable. I have a credit balance of 1050 And that's it. One, two, three, and four. So when I go ahead and close or rather make a total of all my debits and credits, zero, five. So 2050 on the debit side and similarly 2050 on the credit side. So that shows that 99% I have done the accounting correctly. Remember well, the trial balance matching exactly debit and credit totals does not guarantee that accounting is perfect. I might have done some compensating mistakes on both debit and credit side somewhere, but at least it gives me an idea that, okay, this is the picture. And then from here, we can move on to the next accounting cycle of financial statements like income statement and balance sheet, which we'll be talking about in the next video.